Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. R. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to build your very own drawbot. It looks a little something just like this. Clay, markers, stencil, that moves. Okay boys and girls, first to construct your motor, you're going to need the gear, the peg, and the motor shaft. Press the peg onto the large hole in the gear, then both onto the motor shaft. Next is the battery pack. You're going to open the battery pack by putting it up and down. When installing the battery, please make sure that the positive and the negative are in the right area. Then put the cover back on. And for step three, we're going to connect the motor riders to the battery pack, matching the red to the red and the black to the black then turning it on to make sure that it spins. If it doesn't spin, make sure that the wires are connected firmly. Next, we have the clay that we're going to mash up into a small ball. No clay is going to go on the motor shaft. It must be attached to the gear. If it does not spin, make sure that there is no clay on the motor shaft. Now with building your bot body, one of the first things you do is you take the soft strips and they are very, very sticky. Line them up before sticking them down and cutting the strip with some scissors and placing it on the gray stripe. Cut the strips to match the two remaining stripes. And then you're gonna peel these sticky foam donuts. And you put these on these circle areas and attach them. They're very sticky. The back area seems to pop out and you can either use a pencil or some scissors like I did to make it pop out. We take the washable markers, the three that are in the pack, and we take them out. We press the markers through the holes in the drawbot body to make the legs, sliding them up and down halfway like you're gonna see me do in this part of the video. Make sure that the markers are pointing down little tricky at first just to adjust it but it looks like this adjust the markers so that the draw bot can stand on its own without tipping over you are almost done now you're ready to put it all together take these sticky dots and you can place the sticky dot anywhere on the motor make sure that you decide where you want and press down on it very firmly to get it in the right area Stick the other scratchy sticky dot on the battery pack. The part without the switch is always best. Like this. Now, use the scratchy dots to stick the motor and the battery pack to the soft strip on the draw bot. Find a position where the bot stands by itself and the clay hangs off the side. Next, unfold the paper and spread it out on a table or even on the floor. Smooth and flatten areas on the paper creases and make sure that your fingernail to smooth the creases. To make the drawbot move more, you have to adjust the markers, the clay, or place the motor in a very secure place. Once you're ready, you can turn on the switch and watch your drawbot go. Be very careful though, the markers seem to leak all the way through the paper. 